In the state of Ohio, they would do a citizenship test for 9 to 10 year olds. And one of the questions in that test is, if a group of people come together to do something like build a house, does it A, get done faster, B, take longer, or C, not get done at all? Now clearly the answer they're looking for from the nine-year-olds is A, it gets done faster. But in reality, I think all of the answers could apply. So teams are really important. Research suggests that if people identify with being part of a team, they're more engaged and more resilient. And the oldest known piece of human art, a cave painting in Indonesia, which is estimated to be 44,000 years old, shows a group of people hunting together, it shows a team. The classic view of a team is a group of people working together to achieve a common goal. It's, got, it's quite static. The reality that most people are in now is far more dynamic. People are in multiple teams. They're not always formally shown on the organisational chart. They're working with different people in different environments in different con configurations at different times. So rather than thinking about team as a noun, I think we need to be thinking about teaming as a verb, as what people need to do. Teaming is about a mindset of collaboration. Teaming is about structures that help people to collaborate rather than hinder them. It's about helping people to come together quickly to solve complex problems where they don't have the luxury of time to get to know each other. So if you work in an environment where it's stable and predictable, don't worry about teaming, it's not gonna help. But if you're in an environment where you're facing complex challenges that people need to work together on, then think about teaming as an approach to help you to solve those problems.